everyone so this is going to be a process video it's not a tutorial it's not really a spotlight either although you will see the finished product at the end um, but I'm calling it a process video because you're going to see me assemble the pieces that I'm going to put together and it's actually going to be a polymer clay clock and this is a piece that I made inspired by Crafters Delight Gummy Bear Clock that she made I think last summer, uh, last year sometime and I will you know, put the link down below to the, her video. So before I get comments down below saying please show a tutorial, um, I'm going to have to apologize and say I'm not going to be making a tutorial at least for this specific clock because I've already made all the pieces. I don't think I will be remaking the same clock again. And this is a clock that I made for my family, um, specifically my mom. And the reason I'm doing this is because we have a Winnie the Pooh clock, which I will take a, a photo of. And it's been dead, like the battery's been out for the past year almost. And um, I bought an Ikea clock, the same one that was in Crafters Delight video, is the Rus or Rusk brand, I can't pronounce it. And anyways, I'm just going to get started. So the first thing I did other than buy the actual clock was um, I kind of drew out what I was going to do. So I knew in my mind that I wanted to do a Tsum Tsum theme. I have been obsessed with the Tsum Tsum line game for the past month. I started playing late July of 2015, so about a month ago when I was in Korea. And um, I, just, I just loved it. So I've been playing it nonstop. And I put a couple of the pieces in a circle formation so I knew which characters I was going to make. And I'm also going to have a photo of um, the process kind of. So it took me about, I want to say, f three hours in total to make all of the pieces. And every time I finished a piece, I would just place it on the plastic part of the clock so I knew if it was big enough or small enough and I, I still have the plastic seal over the clock so that's why I put it on top of the clock and the next thing I did obviously was make the pieces so here is Mickey, Ariel, Tigger, Donald, Pooh, Mike, Minnie, Dumbo, Eeyore, Daisy, Maleficent, and Baymax and there are the these are the 12 pieces of my clock. So as I show you the pieces one by one, um, I'm going to mention a couple of things. So I actually glazed these about five times, so I feel like they're super shiny. I use polyurethane uh, or varathane polyurethane, and I've actually never glazed more than three times before. But tonight, I decided that I was going to glaze it a couple times because I, I noticed that um, it just got shinier every time. I glazed it and I, I guess I never noticed that before to be honest I actually forgot how many times I had glazed it already so I just kind of kept going and I was also watching YouTube videos while I was doing this so I wasn't really paying attention but I'm kind of glad for that too because I just you know they, they just came out really really shiny so I'm really really happy about that and again as I mentioned these are inspired by the Tsum Tsum game and Tsum Tsum pieces and these characters, how I chose them was I had um, my significant other choose some of the pieces. I also chose Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and Daisy because they're kind of you know, iconic. And I decided to make those pieces the 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 9 o'clock. So when I start gluing them down, you guys will see what those look like. And I also added in Maleficent. She's probably the outlier of all of the characters that I have here because as some of you may know, there's so many Tsum Tsums, but she's the outlier, outlier because she's the villain. And I don't think I have any other villains in the, you know, the 12 pieces that I made. Oh, this one's so shiny. <gasps> and I actually like the Dumbo too because I think when I put it down, he was really shiny as well. So the way that um, I kind of thought of how the color variations was going to go was I actually thought of the rainbow because I wanted there to be a lot of variety. And I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure this video is going to be really, really long. So as I mentioned, um, I thought of the rainbow colors. So aside from like Mickey and Minnie and then 
Donald and Daisy, which are the white characters, other than Baymax. I just really like Baymax. Um, the other colors are all based off the colors of the rainbow. So I have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. I would have had indigo, but when it was still part of the Roy G. Biv kind of um, scheme, but I didn't like have any other purple or dark purple characters that I really wanted to add. I actually don't even think there is a dark purple Tsum Tsum, but I wouldn't know since I've only played the game for a month. And then I added in Maleficent because I love Maleficent. Uh, she's my favorite Tsum Tsum to play with right now. And Baymax just because he was really simple to make. So I think the colors came out really, really well. So I'm really excited to start gluing this on my clock. I unfortunately will not be able to show the process of me gluing it down the clock. That's why I'm going to link Crafter's Delight video down below because she shows practically every step. Um, but I can't because my workspace is so small. Like you can see shadows being casted by other parts of my desk. So that's why I can't show it to you guys. I'm sorry, the clock is obviously a lot bigger than this small area that I'm showing you. So I will be back when I've glued everything down. So just to show you guys again, this is the clock that I got. And it's pretty big, as you can see. And this is the brand. It was $1.99 at Ikea. So I actually removed um, everything, and this is the base of the clock now. And you'll see right here, sorry it's a little blurry, let me just You'll see right here that it's one of those um, sticky kind of like glues, but you can peel it off. It's one of those fun ones like that. So I actually got um, the template, or I'm not, it's not really a template, but the inside of the clock out pretty well. And, oh, sorry guys, but pretty much um, there's like a little piece of paper at the bottom. I just pull that out kind of hard to do that with one hand. So I'm just showing you kind of like a redo of what I did. And ta-da! And again, the removal process um, is pretty easy. Just check the link down below. Okay, so this is totally coincidental, but my um, little Tsum Tsum pieces actually cover up the numbers on the actual IKEA template perfectly. So I'm debating right now whether or not I want to glue this down as is or still cut a template like um, Crafters Delight Amy did. Alright, so excuse the bad lighting. But I've assembled everything and I'm going to have a better view later. But what I'm doing right now is making sure that when I move the hands around, it's not touching any of the characters. So I'm pretty happy. Yay! And the clock obviously works in terms of, you know, um, setting the correct time. Alright guys, so I have put together the clock. I'm really, really proud of this. And um, I pieced back uh, I pieced everything back together and here is what the outcome looks like. I'm going to have photos of course at the end of the video because it's a little hard to see some things. But yeah, this is pretty much um, my clock and just like Crafters Delight did, I had to cut the hands of the um, clock so that it wouldn't touch any of the pieces. But it was totally fine. I did do some things a little differently than Crafters Delight, but most of the things were pretty much the same. So of course, I've mentioned her so much in this video. I really do appreciate her. And um, you know, just check that out. And I hope you guys enjoyed my IKEA clock hack as well. I was so excited to make this Zoom Zoom clock because as I said, I've been obsessed with the game. And I showed it to my mom, she loves it. And I can't wait to show it to my brother. But yes, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the down box below. And I will have a lot of information in the down box. So please, please read that before um, asking specific questions that may have already been answered. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys really, really soon. Alright, bye and thank you guys so much for watching.